so it's like an it's basically an LS3 piston that we've used a shorter stroke with a longer rod to make up the yes. So it's like an LS. I think I, said, I definitely said that wrong before. I said they were an LS7 piston, but it's okay. But the bore is like a LS7 bore. Because an LS3 is 4065 and an LS7 is 4125. Good. Ready? Ready. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. This is Steven at Sea Performance. And today we are finally going to dyno test our 349. This is the LS build that we've been working on for quite a while. It's been in my own personal car for a while. And now it is getting tested and ready for its new home. So just want to give you some specs on this build. You can see some of the information on previous videos that we've done and we'll put the links to those videos in the notes down below. But basically what we did is we took a 6.2 liter block. This was a, a core engine that we had got out of a, an old Cadillac Escalade. And we fit this block with a 4.8 liter crankshaft. So the bore in the 6.2 block starts life at 4.065 and we took it 60 over to 4.125 so that we can use um, an LS3 piston with the 4.8 crankshaft. So that makes this engine 349 cubic inches. We don't call it a 350 specifically because it's not a 350 like everybody in the world knows a 350 to be. We've named this a 349. And to make this all work together, we wanted to use parts that we could basically buy off the shelf. Nothing custom that's really expensive and um, maybe hard to replace if you ever had to. So we used connecting rods from Eagle. They are H-beam rods with 6.3 inches of length. And with the stroke size that we have, the rod to stroke ratio, it comes out at 1.93 to 1. Fantastic speech coming at you. Oh my goodness. We are so thrilled at the outcome. Figuring that we'd head into this making 600 horsepower, maybe 610 was kind of uh, optimistic, but to almost six, almost make 660, realizing now that doing the math on the cubic inch to 
horsepower, that's 1.889 horsepower per cubic inch on this little motor. Running on pump gas, it's got 94 octane fuel in the cell. Um, conservative on the timing, it's going to work perfectly on the street, not having to worry about octane boost or anything like that. 659 horsepower, and the peak power is at 7,600 RPM. So they're still making 645 horsepower at 8,000, so still hanging in there. And the torque was 462 pounds of, of torque at 7,100. So even that number being it's so high up in the range is interesting. Um, and <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun in this new car we're putting it into. 1970 Nova SS getting a 6-speed. Four, five, six gears in the back. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for asking questions in the uh, comment section below. Uh, we are always happy to answer questions as people ask them, to interact a little bit. So thank you for joining us on this journey, and uh, we look forward to the next video.